I'm going to tell you when China will reopen the border. To make you understand, I'm going to explain this topic step by step. Then if you don't have enough time right now, maybe you're busy, so watch this video later because it's really important to watch this video until the end to understand what's going on in China. So if you're a student or work in China, then this video is for you. Let's get started. Every country has a border, except for few islands, and China being a country with 9,597 million square kilometers has decided to close its border in 2020. First from January to February, then from April to August, and finally from October to the present day. The reason for doing this were several. First of all, there was no vaccine in the world against coronavirus. The cases in China were increasing, and for the virus no longer spread, the government decided to close the border. China has approximately 1.5 million foreigners residing here and many of those people were returning to their country, some because of the pandemic, other for personal reasons. And the question that remains unanswered is when will those people be able to return to China? Or when will China open its border to the world? Then if you want to know the answer, keep watching the video. China already has the vaccine and this vaccine against COVID-19 was already approved on December 31st of 2020 for public use. And China is planning to vaccinate up to 50 million and plus people during the Lunar New Year holidays in February in order to prevent the virus from spreading during the festivals. But the main goal is to vaccinate up to 1 billion Chinese residents or at least 70% of Chinese people until the end of 2021. To reach the goal, China is need to prepare about 2 billion vaccines vaccine doses. Some people are still asking themselves if they need to pay to take the vaccine. Until now, what we know is that the vaccine are free for Chinese people. And for foreigners residing in China, we're not sure. It might cost from 200 to 600 yuan probably. The pandemic situation in China is under control. Several public officials, doctors, and good behavior of the population helped it so that the virus did not spread too much. The highest point of contagion in China was on the February 11th of 2020. There were about 6,905 resisted cases, but right now the situation is under control. China has less than 100 cases, which is good news for those who are still waiting the borders to be open. The whole China is under control, but in the first month of 2021, new cases are being reported, unfortunately. Preventing some people from traveling, many cities are having restrictions for passengers and visitors. Those cities are fully preparing to control the spread. Some cities are already being isolated. Do not recommend anyone to enter those areas of high or middle risk of contagion. In general, doctors in China already know how to deal with an infected patient and fight against COVID-19. Right now, Beijing in Shanghai already took control of the new spread. It means there is no high risk of spreading in both cities. Inside of China, passengers who bought tickets from flight scratcher from January 28th to March 8th are getting full refunds. To limit the spread of COVID-19, the government has discouraged traveling during this period. 31 cities now have a new entries and exit policy, asking people to take two nucleic acid tests and stay in quarantine for 14 days. That's for those who come from areas with high risk of contagious. Then if you want to see which countries has opened the borders or those with restrictions, check on this website. I will leave the link on the description as well. I do not recommend anyone to buy ticket three or six months in advance as we used to do before coronavirus appeared. Because every day a lot of things might change in six months it can get worse or maybe better. But if you can afford, I really recommend you to buy your ticket seven days after you decide to travel. This year, there are many flights coming to mainland China. I found a website where you can buy your ticket from your city to China and it has a very low prices. This website has a map of flights from almost everywhere in the world to China in 2021. One. But I think those flights will be cancelled very soon. But take a look, I will leave the link in the description below. Since the coronavirus outbreak began, many foreign residing in China have had trouble renewing their visa as usual. Many had their passport expired and were unable to leave the city where they live because they were at lockdown. But luckily, there was no problem because the government knew what was happening. Even though many foreigners were illegal for a few days, visas were successfully renewed. And if you're a student to work and you want to enter or return to China, here are the necessary procedures to obtain a Type X visa for students and 
type C visa for workers. Those are the requirements for students. A valid passport with at least six months application form Q1 photo, the origin and photocop of the approved foreign student visa application form GW201 or GW202 and admission notice from the Chinese school. And for workers, the document are those one. Work permit, job qualification certificate, passport, criminal record, and finally, a medical report. Traveling from place to place has not been easy in the last two years. Many countries have refused to receive passengers with the transit visas due to the high numbers of cases, and many medical tests have been requested, such as IgM serum antibody test, nucleic acid RT-PCR test, and also a direct flight to China has been highly recommended by the government, including several other procedures to follow during the trip. When you arrive to China, you will find out, so get ready. The quarantine in China has different procedures depending on the city or place in question. The local authority in each city implemented specific rules for locals' residents. International flights in Beijing and Shanghai, for example, that have 14 days centralized quarantine process that the passenger must comply with. And for domestic flights, depending on the high risk on the area in which is the passengers come from, there are 14 days home quarantine or centralized quarantine for those who doesn't own residency. When you decide to come in China, bring enough money with you because a lot of things can happen during the trip and running out of the money in the period like this is a difficult to find help. The quarantine in China, as I said before, depending a lot on your city. Let's give an example if it's in Shanghai. Centralized quarantine is a 14 days in hotel and you must cover the expenses. You have to pay for the food, the hotel and some medical tests. Daily, you can spend between 200 to 400 yuan. It's this amount times 14 days. In my opinion, 80% of students returning home on winter vacation of 2020 have lost the scholarship in 2021 for several reasons. First of all, classes were taught online and many were unable to attend classes or finish with a school program. Many students did not submit an assignment, did not take an exam during the lack of internet. Many students lost relatives during the pandemic and were completely in the mode to continue studying and finish the school program. Some almost committed suicide just knowing that they had to pay annual tuition fees and still not able to enter China to continue with their study. The year of 2020 were unfair for many people. Some students start calling the school to cancel the scholarship because there were no conditions to continue unfortunately. It was a year with a lot of struggle to be qualified. But this year, I hope everything's gonna be better. There are a few different types of fees you need to pay in China, such as application fees that is between 80 to 150 US dollars. This goes to university and cover university cost of your application process. So they prepare your admission notice and your visa form, then send it to you by DHL into your home country. Then deposit fee. This is normally a portion of the first year tuition fees that is around 10,000 RMB. And for tuition fees, you can open a bank account when you arrive in China and transfer the money to your bank account and then pay from your bank account in China to university account. Then accommodation fees and insurance fees to complete the process. Just take a look on these slides. The reason that many people are stuck outside and weren't able to return to China at this time was the holiday. This is a subject that I decided to talk about because many of my colleagues regret why they agreed to go home on vacation in 2020. It's known that the students and teachers have a summer and winter vacation for about 3 months. The summer vacation in China generally starts around July 1st and ends around August 31st. And the winter vacation usually falls on January or February according to the date of spring festival. This is a period that many students hope to arrive to relax. But the COVID-19 has come and end the party. For now, the holidays no longer make sense. We're on a vacation right now, that's why I gain more time to research and make videos with more content like this one. We are approximately 500,000 foreign students and residents in mainland China before coronavirus appeared. In 2020, probably 90% of this number went back home and 10% still remaining here. So 2021, we are probably 50,000 international students remaining in China, I guess. The government claimed that there have been no COVID-19 cases in mainland China campus since August of 2020, and it intends to keep things that way. This implies that China does not want 
want to import COVID cases. Either open the borders now, taking risk and increases COVID cases in mainland China. So everything indicates that things will continue until the world has control of this pandemic, guaranteeing total security for every country to open its border and return everything back to normal without fearing new cases. Many students are tired on ready. Even PhD students are frustrated, depressed and demoralized. They really don't know what to do because the work is late based. They cannot do it online. And how long will we leave this situation? Keep watching this video to figure it out. The numbers of workers in China was almost 1 million in 2018. Some returned to their country from 2019 to 2020. In 2020, the borders were favorable for workers. Some came and went back again in March and September of 2020. But right now in 2019, things are getting tired and tired. Many flights are being canceled and others will be canceled very soon. What is the possibility for finance workers or those who are applying for Z type of visa to enter China in 2021? If you have any information, leave it on comment section. But what I know is that last year there were some policies that allow workers from almost everywhere in the world to enter China. But this year it will be different. Just now, Canadian workers are now allowed to enter mainland China. And this is a temporary new policy just came out on February 1st. The 2020 entries and exit policy remain valid until today. Although with some changes, workers from all over the world were allowed to enter China. But right now, no one else comes in, I guess. Taiwanese cities were able to enter Beijing, Shanghai, Chengdu, and Chemian City last year. At this moment, I don't know if this policy remained for them. In my research, I found a flight coming from UK to China scheduled for March 7th, but it might be canceled probably because every day we have a new policies and China is still banning a lot of country to reduce the numbers of imported cases. It seems the borders will only be open for those who enter with diplomatic visa, service visa, courtesy or C type of visa. Those will not be affected to re-enter China in 2021. I made a video explaining why they will not reopen the border in March. You can take a look on this link right here. The reasons are those one. China did not vaccinate the entire population yet. They must vaccinate everyone first to ensure that everybody's safe and sound and then they can think about borders. The vaccine is still in the approval process. They're still producing another vaccine more effective and it might be ready by the end of this year. The production of 2 billion doses hasn't been completed yet. It's take time to produce a dose of vaccine. Increasing the number of imported cases. When they reopened the borders in September of 2020, China reported 515 imported cases in October, an increase of 45% from September. In March, the weather is favorable for spreading. The virus like low temperature. March is the second semester of classes. There is no big deal to manage the spring intake. There is no cases in campus, but once they reopen, it will show up some cases because of a huge number of the passengers or students from different countries coming to China, some with the fake result of COVID test. Now let's check the reason why they can't reopen the border in September. September had everything to work out, but unfortunately it will be a suicide. It's too early. The government's plan is to vaccinate the whole country by the end of this year. It will be done until then. If we're early, it will be useful to open the border. And here are the reasons not to open the border in September. To open the border, first of all, the coronavirus must have the cure all of the world. It means every single country that have the people coming to China must vaccinate the citizen first to ensure more safety and reduce the imported cases into China. The doses and vaccination process have to be finished in China before September. This seems impossible to be done so far. Cases in China must be at least 10 or 0. At this point, China is ready to reopen the border. Trust me. This will be official in 2022. My conclusion, the border will be open in two phases. First group of students and workers in March and the rest in September. They cannot open the border once. The demand is huge and the traffic of people coming in China every year is almost 48 million foreign people from almost everywhere in the world. The countries with a few cases and great control of the pandemic will be priority. And here are the reasons why it will be in 2022. Enough time to vaccinate the entire population. Until 
then doses and vaccine will be made. COVID-19 will be controlled by almost every country in the world. Everyone will be vaccinated and this is automatically a zero case all over the world. Many people will give up on waiting. It means that the demand will be reasonable. They can open the border because there are less people or less students or workers rushing to enter China. This is the best subject I like most, recommendation. To be short, I just have 12 recommendations for you on this topic. My first recommendation is don't give up. If two years at home is too much, then take an action. If you only have one year left, wait. If you work here and intend to return, come as soon as possible. If you want to apply to start here, do it next year. Handle all necessary documents and get ready. Don't rest time. Apply for another scholarship in your own country. If it's too early for you, start working, stop procrastinating, follow your dreams, start your own business, understand the situation and live the reality. That's all for this video. Then if this video was helpful or if you have learned something new today, give me that thumbs up. For any question, leave it in the comment section and share this link or this video with someone who might need. Subscribe to my channel for more content. Have a good day. Bye.